Well, February is the month when we start to think about the birds starting to leave us. And we've come into the duck hut here as part of the decoy exhibit because we've got this map and we can really get a clear picture of what our birds are going to be doing over the next few weeks and months. Let's start with the Buick swans, for example. They're going to leave here at Slimbridge towards the end of February and make their way across. First stop, Holland. That's the main wintering resort. That's where the bulk of the, the Buick Swan population will be. Some, though, we know will move quite quickly into Denmark, so from Slimbridge to Denmark in one go. They're then going to work their way slowly eastwards along the coast of the Baltics and gather probably in Estonia. This is one of the main staging areas. Wait for the weather to be good enough before making the big leap across the taiga, across the forested zones as they head up into the arctic tundra which begins here just above Archangel. Our swans are then moving further and further east until they get to their very nearest breeding grounds which are on this island here called Kolgoyev. Our main study area is just in here in the Pechora Delta and our birds we know will stretch further east. We're not quite sure how far if we're honest but probably up to about 3,000 miles away to the east there. Of course, it's not all about birds leaving us. Birds will be arriving already, and February is the month where we see um, the start of that. We're going to see avocets starting to move back onto the breeding grounds here. We don't really know where they've been. We think they're, they're wintering around the coast of Britain, maybe further down the Severn, perhaps at our steer centre there. Oyster catchers will be turning up. They could be anywhere around the coast of Britain. Huge numbers wintering on our bigger estuaries, especially up on the Solway there near Calaverock. And we'll see the first of the lapwings, which are largely migrants wintering here. They'll leave, but our resident birds will also start thinking about breeding and we'll see the first signs of display. So the first signs of spring will be appearing towards the end of the month. Hello, I'm Kerry and I'm one of the new presenter trainers here at Slimbridge along with Vicky and today we're in the Gosling field free flying our magpie geese. Since the girls last made their appearance on Wild Watch they've come a really long way in their training to the point where now we are free flying them every day. As you can see Lucy is our lead bird and she's the one who takes off first and the other two follow. Magpie geese are a perching bird so as you can see they're more inclined to land on the perch than they are the ground and that's where they fly back to when we free fly them. The girls are perfectly adapted for perching and if you have a close look at their feet you'll see that they don't have webbed feet like other ducks and geese and they have that long toe at the back to help them perch as well. Unlike other species of geese, true geese, magpie geese don't molt and that means that they're fully flighted all year round. So you can come and see them later on this year once the Living Wetland Theatre is open. For updates on our Living Wetland Theatre and the other Slimbridge 2020 projects keep an eye out on our social media.